All right, so there was definitely something over there in the woods watching us as we were watching them. That's kind of an eerie feeling. Good morning, modern steaders. We have a nice dew on the grass this morning. How well you can see that, but I'm hoping that'll help all the grass seed we have down. We haven't been getting any rain in the last few days, which is nice. So maybe that'll help germinate the seeds. Look at that. It's a nice little dew. Taking care of the goats first this morning. Kind of got the animals thinking, what's going on? We normally feed the pigs first. Good morning. I didn't put any goat teeth tape on last night. I wasn't finding that her milk production upped really. I mean, if it did, it was such a small amount. And then on the other times, it was back down. So I'm gonna have to try ordering some supplements that'll help her milk production get up and see if that helps or not. So we average about a pint. Not every milking, that takes us three times of milking to get a pint of milk. Which is enough milk for what we need a day for regular consumption, but it's not enough to make cheese and stuff or goat's milk soap. And that's where we'd like to get to at some point. So we need to get more goats for milking and figure out milk production. I know, I'm coming with your food. Is that all you ever think about? The bigger those pigs get, the more you gotta zig and zag when you're trying to give them their food. I think they got me good this morning with their nose. Look at all that dirt. Ugh. That's all they want is food. I don't think about anything else, but how can I get some food? You guys ready for some new salad bar? You guys really like your fresh greens, don't you? Carrot peelings. <sighs> I need to move New York City, but I'm not taking that York rake off the back of my tractor till I'm done raking out that four acre pasture, or what I hope to be a four acre pasture. I'm planning on, if everything works out, getting that raked up this week and getting it seeded. So I'll either have to wait to move New York City, or I'll have to use the tundra to move it. You girls sure do like them spools, huh? No, they're not store-bought eggs. We just put our eggs into egg cartons.
Buy some bacon. You got a pig following you. We had some new shirts made up in honor of Moose. There's going to be links in the description down below to click on if you'd like to purchase one of the new shirts. Where's Moose hiding? Moose? We got some new t-shirts made up for you. Oh, he's under the camper. They don't make one small enough, Moose, that'll fit you. I'm sorry. It looks like they're starting to get real feathers. Mm. A little bit. Well, the white one, really. Y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go let the goats out. Let's turn the fence on. You want to come out? Willow, you want to come out? You want to come out? She Buttercup's just chilling over there. Doesn't seem like she wants to come out, but but Willow does. Right, Willow. Okay, ready, Willow. Buttercup. Hi, girl. Oh, you're too close to the camera. You fucked him up. You fucked him up. Your mouth's too close to the camera. You fucked him all up. You crazy goats. Come on. Come on. Hey. Jump up. Willow. I let them out and they're not really doing anything. What the heck? Buttercup, you're the one who stayed in place and you're the one jumping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Piggies, hello, hello. Let's go check on the baby chick. You guys tipped over your food. What the heck? You in there? We're in the corner, guys. This doesn't make it easy. Can you see him? No, not really. The babies. Right. Oh, there's one. Moose. There you are. There you are, Moose. There you are, Moose. Hi, Moose. <coughs> Chickens are doing good, eating up the pasture. The pigs are doing really good, eating up, the, cleaning up that pasture over there. Around seven o'clock at night, I go back out to the goats with some more chaff, hey? Oh, and my milk and bucket, which I forgot. And my milk and bucket, and we go and milk the goats, or I milk a willow for the second time. And this is where the free range chicken of New Hampshire spend the night. You girls sleeping too already? The girls know the routine and they know they're getting dinner.
Willow gets her second milking, and we get the second batch of milk for the day. I'll leave the goats out until it gets dark out. And then we lock them up in New York City. Look at that sunset tonight, guys. That's just beautiful. Only if we had the drone. I know. The outdoor kitchen looks nice in the light. That looks beautiful. Once it gets dark out, I come on out to lock the goats up. They're usually still outside playing. And then I'll lock up New York City and they'll still be inside at this time and then let's see they're still roosting up there let me shut that back off the light's making it look well, the camera's making it look pretty light out especially with our new outdoor lighting which is nice the goats are still up on goat mountain they don't want to go in yet girls usually have to coax them in with a night snack see you in the morning Something's watching us over there, guys. I don't know if you can see its eyes right there. There's eyeballs over there in the woods. So we come over here, keep an eye at that thing, and we lock up New York City. So there was definitely something over there in the woods watching us as we were watching them. That's kind of an eerie feeling. I don't know what it was. Hopefully tomorrow morning all the animals will be good. Find out in the morning. I'm thinking it was maybe a coon or a fox. So thanks for liking guys and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.